Hi guys, today we've got a very special guest with us. We've got Jack from Spooky Kids TV. What we're going to do today is I'm going to give you my top 10 kids horror movies and Jack is also going to give you his top 10 kids horror movies. Everybody's a suspect! Coming to get you, Barbara. So we're going to start with my list. Now the list that I give and the list that Jack gives, it's a list of 10 kids horror movies that we we would recommend in our household. Jack is a, a big boy now so he can watch slightly scarier kids horror movies. Obviously if you're watching this list, if you're not a kid, if you feel like you're going to show your kids the movies that we're recommending, maybe watch them first yourself and you can determine whether you think your kid is ready for these movies. I tested them first for myself and I thought okay maybe Jack could watch them and he did and he enjoyed them or he maybe didn't enjoy them but this is our list that we would recommend for kids of maybe Jack's level of excitement and scary because there's some so there's some movies on my list that Jack doesn't like and he doesn't find scary for some reason and then on Jack's list there's movies that maybe he finds scary that I don't or other kids maybe don't so it's all subjective so we're going to start with my list first of all Jack's not going to do a lot of talking just now, but he can yeah. maybe give his opinion on it. Um, but yeah, so I'll start with my list. So Jack, and uh, again, I'm not going to do a complete, rev a complete review on all of these movies because I've reviewed some of them. We're not going to go deep into it. We're just going to do a quick top 10 for me and a quick top 10 for Jack. And at number 10 is a newest one on my list, which is Hubie Halloween. Now this movie isn't for everybody. Jack did enjoy it, but we're going to talk about Jack's list soon. But Hubie Halloween is a feel-good kids horror movie. There are some adult themes to this movie but overall I, I personally see it as a kids horror movie. I think a kid would get more enjoyment out of this one but I think it's one that you would enjoy more around about Halloween time. And at number nine is Lady in White. Now this one doesn't really stand the test of time because when you watch it today it doesn't live up to how it was back in the day but it's still got that really creepy element to it, a really good supernatural element and what I like about this one for kids, it's a really good kids ghost story. There are again some adult themes to it but overall I think kids would find this more enjoyable now rather than back in the day because I was a kid back in the day and I enjoyed it then. Watching it today I still do enjoy it but I think it's more uh, it would be more enjoyable for a kid to watch. When Jack watched it, he did enjoy it, um, but a couple of years later, I don't think Jack would enjoy it more now, but I think it's more for the younger kids, even though it's got adult themes to it. But again, you have to watch it first before you maybe let your kids watch it, because it has got some scary moments to it. But overall, it's a good, feel good, again, Halloween themed horror movie. And the number eight is The Gate. Uh, now this is one of the ones where it's very dated in terms of CGI or practical effects because it is very, very dated in that aspect. But it's another one that the whole family can watch. There are some scary moments in it. I think there may be a few sweary moments in it too. Nothing major. Uh, it's got Stephen Dorff, one of his first movies as well. And I think that what I like about this one is the way this movie's made. I think I always go back to the late 80s horror movies and this is one of the late 80s horror movies that I love with that 80s nostalgic feel and look to it. But this time it's a kids 80s feel good horror movie and that's what I love about this. And then number seven is The Witches from 1990, not the, the new adaptation. What I like about this one, and again this is mainly uh, aimed at kids, but what I love about this one is the location of The Witches. It's set on this cliffside resort in England and I watched it in school when I was a kid so I think I've got maybe that nostalgic factor of watching it in school with my friends. Um, watching it today I still get that creepy vibe with it. It's not, I don't think it's set on Halloween or anything so it's not a Halloween themed horror movie, it's just a kids horror movie and it does have the the book, the book feel to it, the Roald Dahl books. Maybe I do love it more because of the nostalgic factor and I think that if people are watching the remake today, the 2020 adaptation, they might enjoy that one more if you're a kid. But for me, because I watched the original as a kid, I enjoy this one more. And then number six is Gremlins. Now I did ponder whether to put this on the list or not, even though it's number six. And the reason being is because I do feel this this isn't much of a horror movie for me. It's more of a Christmas movie because it obviously it's set to Christmas and it has a Christmas theme to it. But I still think it's, it is a horror movie and it's aimed at kids as well. I think it was a 15 here at one point and maybe it still is, I can't remember, in the what? UK. Yeah, I know. Um, but Jack watched this when he was a kid and he absolutely loved it. 
I don't think, did you have, were you scared of it at all? I don't think I was. But yeah, I think for the most part, it is child friendly. I think it's probably best to watch it with the family around Christmas time rather than Halloween time, but it has got the horror elements to it, so that's why it made the list. And at number five is Goosebumps. Now, I didn't think I was going to like this movie at all, to be honest, and I think when I went in to see this movie, I thought it was going to be way more of a kid's movie uh, than an adult movie. I've movie but I think it's, it looks like it was aimed at both adults and kids possibly most likely teenagers because it's got teenagers in it but it has got some spooky elements to it but nothing major nothing totally scary mm. I think most kids can watch this movie at any age I think it was a PG wasn't it in the UK was it? I think so something like that anyway but it's, it's, it's mostly aimed at young kids teens um, but it's, it's, it's a feel good story it almost felt like an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark which I know it should feel like an episode of Goosebumps, but to me, I loved Are You Afraid of the Dark more. But So I put my own spin on how I felt about Goosebumps, and I did like it. I thought it had the spooky elements to it for adults and for kids. Had some good jokes in it as well, and it was an overall fun movie. And then number four is The Midnight Hour. Now, this is one that maybe not a lot of people have heard of, or if you've heard of it, maybe you've not seen it. It's a 1985 TV horror movie. And again, this one is aimed at adults and kids. There are some scary moments, and I think there might be a few sweary words in it as well. But overall, it's got a family vibe to it. This is one movie that we will always watch on Halloween as a family because it is a family feel-good Halloween-themed horror movie. Um, but it's one that I always love. I loved it as a kid growing up and I love it today. Even today when you watch it, it doesn't feel out of date. It's got that 80s charm as well. It's got a dance scene in it too that reminds me of Michael Jackson's Thriller. It's just an overall feel good horror movie. And at number three is The Monster Squad. Of course, with my channel being Wolfman's Got Nards, we're going to have The Monster Squad on a kids themed horror movie. Now that's a game like some of the movies on the list. It's got some scary moments to it. I think it's got a lot of uh, swear words in it as well. When I did see it as a kid, I thought, well, you know, this shouldn't really be a kids movie because of the amount of swearing that's in it. Now, because I did watch it as a kid and it's not that bad of a movie when it comes to violence, I decided to, to let my kid watch it. Jack watched it as a very young kid and he absolutely loved it as well. Again, there was sweary words in it. Obviously, depending on how you feel about that with your kids, maybe you shouldn't let them watch it if they're going to copy the words. Jack doesn't copy the words, so it's fine. He knows right from wrong, don't you? Yeah. Well, probably. Uh, but yeah, The Monster Squad is the ultimate monster movie for kids to see. And who doesn't want to, as a kid, maybe of Jack's age, creating your own monster squad, going out there and battling your own monsters as well, is great. And then number two is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Now, this is the one movie on the list that is questionable for you, the viewer, because I did have to watch this first because it is a darker kids movie now I think it's maybe aimed more at teens than younger kids mm -hmm. but depending on how you feel about your kid watching a kids horror movie then watch it first to determine it for yourself because there are some moments in it that not only do scare kids there were some scenes in that I thought oh I better look away here so it is borderline kids horror movie but I still feel like it should be on the list because if I went to see this myself without kids I probably wouldn't have I've had a better time watching it myself. I think I had to have my kids watching it with me. Uh, there are some dark tones to it, but it does feel like a darker version of something like Are You Afraid of the Dark or mm -hmm. Goosebumps? But at the same time, I had a blast. And the number one is Hocus Pocus. This is the ultimate movie for most kids to see on or around Halloween. I would even watch it any time of the year, never mind Halloween, but we do religiously watch it on Halloween. It's fun for the whole family. Uh, it's very funny, it's very up to date. When you watch it today, it doesn't feel like it's 27 years old. Um, there's not much I can say about Hocus Pocus that not everyone said, to be honest, because everybody loves Hocus Pocus, don't they, Jack? Yeah. Well, most of us love Hocus Pocus. So that's my top 10 list, guys. As with most lists, they're very subjective. You might agree with me, you might not agree with me. You might think some of the movies on, list, on this list are maybe too dark for kids. Uh, again, that's your opinion, and my opinion is it's, it's okay. But again, maybe watch them first if you haven't seen them before you let your kids watch it. So we're now going to go on to Jack's top 10 and then he'll give you some reasons why this is his top top 10 as well. All of you guys who watched Vicky Kids TV, this is my top 10 kids horror movies. At number 10 we have The Witch is the original one and I'm just going to say this movie was brilliant. Um, a lot of you guys think that this might be terrible but I say that this has to at least reach the top 10. Number 9 we have original Ghostbusters, this movie was good, um, I think this should be number 9 because 
all of the action that I has in this movie. I see just a fab movie, you know? Number eight, we have the Monster Squad. Wolfman's got nards. Um, I say there should be eighth. I'm not like my dad, like putting it third. I say it should be eighth because I've got tons of other movies out there that are way better than this. But I'm just going to say this is eighth just because. Number seven, we have 2016 Ghostbusters. And I think this should be um, one of the uh, top 100 best movies in the world. I, I don't, I just think it's I don't know why. I say it's better than the original Ghostbusters just because. Um, He's not my son. <laughs> I, yes, I am. Number six is Goosebumps. Um, I see this is a brilliant movie. Um, they go through tons of cool stuff. They have wolves, Slappy, of course. Mm -hmm. Tons of cool stuff. I say it's like Hello, a Hello, Papa. <laughs> I say it's a, a hyped movie for a lot of kids. So I say you should put this in your top ten. Number five, we have The Hole. This was a very, very scary movie. Um, especially the clown bit when the boy goes down the basement it's just a very very scary movie and amazing to watch yeah i think i'll talk about this one with jack because this is one of the ones where you maybe have to watch yourself first before you let your kid watch it because it, it has got a few scary moments there was a bathroom scene remember the little girl in the bathroom in the in the school you can't remember but there's in yeah. a kind of in the darkness but yeah it's, a, it's quite a scary oh movie. yeah i remember oh that's so scary yeah so it's quite scary for kids but it's still a good one mm -hmm. number four we have goosebumps 2 i see this is a very good movie and of course my dad has watched a movie called it and one of the people with it is a person in goosebumps 2. oh yeah yeah ben. yeah um, so I say this is a very good movie. I don't know why I say it's better than the first one. It's just because the second one I say it's a bit more exciting. Number three, we have Hubie Halloween. I know this isn't a scary movie. It's like a family movie, horror too. Um, it's very funny, especially um, his weird voice that he does. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> is it, I, I had that in my top ten as well, obviously, but I think. He liked it better because I think it's more of a kids film, even though it's got adult themes to it, but I think it, kids can relate to it more than adults for some reason. Number two, we have The Witches 2020. I just saw this yesterday and it was a brilliant movie and it's it's got very scary scenes, especially the woman's smile and the arms. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Because mm, I was saying to Jack, it looks like a little bit like Pennywise from it sometimes, the way mm -hmm. the movements and stuff like that. But yeah, it was quite quite freaky. But what didn't make my top ten, but it made his top ten. Yeah. Number one, you guys are thinking I'll put Hocus Pocus, but no, I'm not. This is not my dad. So I put Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. And this was a very scary movie. In my opinion, this should be the top 10 best movies ever created. It was so scary, so good moments in this. And I say, just the best. So that's both our top 10s. As you can see, some of them are quite similar, but some of them are very different. For example, Jack loves the Ghostbusters from 2016. I don't think that was a terrible movie, but it's nowhere near my top 10. Uh, Jack's channel is Spooky Kids TV, so if you want to check out Jack's channel, you can. Subscribe right Subscribe, now. Subscribe, yeah. So his top 10 will be on his channel, and my top 10 will be on my channel. And I'll try and edit it a little bit differently, because obviously we don't want the videos to be identical. Yeah. If you guys have seen any of the top 10s in our list, leave your comments down below let me know what you think of them and also let me know your top 10 kids scary horror movies as always guys thanks a lot for watching thanks for subscribing i'll see you soon Bye bye